I have a red sponge here. What happens if you pour red liquid in it and wipe it? And if I add blue? So what will be the color of the liquid that comes out of this? The liquid that the red sponge has absorbed will still be red, but the sponge will turn blue. Now try dipping the blue sponge into the blue liquid. Now that the sponge has returned to its original red color, can you guess what color the liquid inside will be? Is it still the same blue color or will you see red liquid again? Wow, when you put the blue sponge back into the blue solution, it turns red again. There are different chemical reactions happening here and it all happens very quickly. You might be wondering, why is the sponge red after all? Because it was just dipped in the red solution. The red solution is an acid-base indicator. One of the acid-base indicators we are familiar with is the pH indicator, such as litmus, litmus pH indicator, etc. Under normal conditions, it turns red, but this indicator, Dangohong, is different. It turns blue in acidic conditions and turns red again in alkaline conditions. That's why this liquid is hydrochloric acid, to which some red dye has been added. Ordinary dyes are not acid-base indicators. Red dye remains red even in acidic conditions. This liquid is an alkaline sodium hydroxide solution, to which ordinary dye has been added. The colored dye itself is not the main point. The indicator still remains in its original color. Sea sponge is made of cellulose. There is a strong attraction between the cellulose fibers and Congo red. So the Congo red gets absorbed and trapped in it and cannot come out. That is, the original liquid returns. If you always use such sponges in experiments, you should be careful. Because when you finish the experiment, the teacher asks if everyone has cleaned up. The students say, sir, I have dried it. And then the teacher comes over. But there is still something like garlic on your table that you haven't cleaned up. That's why, if you always use such equipment, you need to be extra careful.